Praising others can be a powerful tool for building strong, healthy relationships and improving communication. It can help to foster a sense of trust and respect and can improve the overall quality of relationship. However, it is important to be sincere and specific in your praise and to avoid using it as a manipulative tactic. According to research, genuine praise can have a number of positive effects on both the person being praised and the person offering the praise. For example, studies have shown that praise can 1. Boost self-esteem When someone is praised for their achievements or positive qualities, it can help to boost their self-esteem and self-confidence. This can lead to improved self-perception and a greater sense of self-worth. 2. Encourage further improvement Praise can act as a motivator, encouraging people to continue working hard and striving for improvement. For example, research has found that students who received praise for their academic efforts had higher grades and reported a stronger desire to learn than those who did not receive praise. 3. Enhance social bonding. Praise can help to strengthen relationships and improve communication. When someone is praised by someone they care about, it can create a sense of connection and increase feelings of affection and closeness. 4. Reduce stress and anxiety. Praise can help to reduce stress and anxiety by increasing feelings of self-worth and self-esteem. Research has found that praise can improve mental health and well-being and can even have physical health benefits, such as reducing blood pressure. It is important to remember that praise should be sincere and specific in order to be most effective. Simply saying good job or well done without any context or specificity can come across as insincere or even condescending. Instead, try to identify something specific that you appreciate or admire about the person you are praising. For example, I really appreciate the way you handled that difficult customer or your attention to detail on this project really impressed me. By being specific and focusing on specific actions or qualities, you can communicate more effectively and show that your praise is genuine. It is also important to be mindful of the other person's boundaries and not to overdo it with praise. Excessive or insincere praise can come across as manipulative and can undermine trust and authenticity in a relationship. It can also create unrealistic expectations or put unnecessary pressure on the person being praised. In addition to the positive effects of praise, it is important to consider the potential drawbacks and be aware of how to avoid them. For example, Research has shown that too much praise can lead to a decrease in intrinsic motivation and a reliance on external validation. This means that the person being praised may become less motivated to work hard or achieve their goals because they are seeking approval from others rather than finding personal satisfaction in their own accomplishments. To avoid this, it is important to strike a balance in your praise. Rather than constantly praising someone, Try to focus on specific actions or qualities that you appreciate and let them know that you recognize and value their efforts. This will help to build self-esteem and self-confidence without creating a reliance on external validation. Overall, praising others can be a powerful tool for building strong, healthy relationships and improving communication. By being sincere and specific in your praise, and avoiding using it as a manipulative tactic, you can foster a sense of trust and respect and enhance social bonding. Remember to be mindful of the other person's boundaries and avoid overdoing it with praise and focus on finding a balance that promotes intrinsic motivation and self-esteem. It is also important to consider the context in which you are offering praise. Different situations may call for different approaches to praise. For example, in a professional setting, it may be more appropriate to offer praise in a more formal way, such as through a written note or during a performance review. In a more casual or personal setting, a verbal compliment or praise given in the moment may be more appropriate. It is also worth considering the personality and preferences of the person you are praising. Some people may appreciate a more public display of praise, while others may prefer a more private or intimate approach. 
Being attuned to the other person's needs and preferences can help to ensure that your praise is well received and effective. In addition to praising others, it is also important to practice self-praise and to learn to recognize and value your own accomplishments and positive qualities. This can help to boost self-esteem and self-confidence and can be a valuable tool for improving mental health and well-being. In conclusion, praising others can be a powerful tool for building strong, healthy relationships and improving communication. By being sincere, specific, and mindful of the other person's boundaries and preferences, you can foster a sense of trust and respect and enhance social bonding. Don't forget to also practice self-praise and to recognize and value your own accomplishments and positive qualities. So, try to praise others and yourself more often and see the positive changes it brings in your life and relationships.